Now, going over to the business blunder of the day, you have McDonald's E. coli outbreak spreads, and it's uh, not looking good. Now, this comes to us thanks to James Powell, who's a writer at USA Today, which he says, quote, McDonald's E. coli outbreak, 15 new cases identified with five hospitalizations. I'll also bring up the little map here, which uh, has not yet affected the great state, or sorry, the great country of Texas yet, so we're good here. Oh, scrolling down here, they say the U.S. Centers for Disease Control identified 15 new cases of e, e. e. coli poisoning linked to the onions and core pounders sold at the fast food chain. The cases were from uh, before McDonald's suspected, uh, suspended the use of onions from distributor Tyler Farms, Colorado Springs facility. The agency also announced five new hospitalizations attributed to the outbreak, bringing the total number of hospitalizations to 27 and the total number of cases to 90. Unfortunately, someone did pass away. They know that one person died in Colorado due to the outbreak. The fast food giant apologized for the outbreak in an investor call last week with CEO Chris Kamzinski saying that he was, quote, relieved that the situation appears to be contained and I remain confident in the safety of eating at McDonald's, unquote. They say, quote, at least three lawsuits have been filed against McDonald's in retaliation to the outbreak. The lawyers for those who have already filed suit anticipating more to come, which, yeah, that's not great. In terms of the states that are most affected, it looks like Colorado has the most illnesses at 29 also, have Montana at 17, Nebraska at 12, Missouri at 8. You have Iowa at 1, Kansas at 1, Wyoming at 5, Utah at 7, New Mexico at 5, Utah 1, Washington 1, and Michigan 2. So, and then Wisconsin 1. So, definitely not good news for McDonald's, which, I mean, again, the, the value prop of fast food is really dissolved past couple years especially i mean it used to be fast cheap and you know convenient which not really any of those things these days and now the fact that again the supply chain with food there are a lot I mean, unfortunately negative things do happen in most food industries most restaurants there's usually they'll have some mistakes it's almost inevitable but if again the fact that they're already having a lot of challenges at mcdonald's now the fact that they didn't further scrutinize their supply chain in this case a specific supplier and now it continues to spread as even more people may hurt from it, even some passing away from it. Uh, I gotta say, McDonald's that is certainly the business blunder of the day. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in. Again, try to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you can click that button, I greatly appreciate it. Also, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment. It's a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, to anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.